Well, good evening, folks. It's The Real Captain Kirk here. It's the 27th of August, Saturday evening here at uh, live from uh, One Bethlehem Plaza here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Hope you're enjoying these last few days of summer. This meteorological summer is almost in the history books, and it's been uh, similarly hot to last year. Number one hottest in at least 37 years. And um, the big change is it was really wet last year, one of the one, number one wettest, and this year driest in 10 years, um, seventh driest in 37 years. So it's been a hot, wet summer last year, hot, dry summer this year. And we see that reflected here in the drought status here as of 23 August, uh, worst in 10 years in terms of coverage, 64% of the country in dry to drought phases, again, most since 2012's epic drought. Um, so again, um, some good news here. Again, the cycles that we look at and the statistics and all the math uh, that we factor in our year ahead forecast uh, suggest that this is going to be a wholesale change in 2023, 2024. We will be talking floods uh, instead of uh, drought across the U.S. So hopefully in time to save some areas like California that desperately need to need some water. Um, looking at ocean temperatures here, one of the reasons is just this La Nina event um, continues again for the second full year here. Um, some big changes that we see is the blob. The blob is just this warm Pacific. Um, over a year ago or so, the North Pacific was the second coldest in 165 years. So it's made a wholesale change here with this much warmer uh, pattern for the North Pacific. That's important as we look into our winter season here, 13, 14, 15 was the last time we saw this blob of warm, warm water uh, in the North Pacific, and that led to some very cold and snowy um, U.S. winters. Uh, so we'll, we'll see here uh, if that can hang on. It's uh, somewhat transient, but it looks like it's hanging on here. So again, um, we'll see if that plays a role. Still very warm in the North Atlantic. If we look at, um, like a re recap here of last week on the world scale here, 27 August uh, ending here this tonight. Um, here in the U.S., we actually had a cooler week, 1.7 degrees cooler than a year ago, coolest in three years, still ninth warmest in 37 years. If there was a real hot spot, uh, we would say it was in the Pacific Northwest, uh, northern Rocky Mountains, uh, cool down in Texas. And again, a lot of that was rain-induced uh, cool weather. Um, overall, for the U.S., uh, we were about 20% wetter than last year, making it the wettest in 30 years, second wettest in 37 years. A little misleading if you look at the map uh, bottom left there for precip versus average uh, a lot of that came in Texas with the remnants of tropical depression number four, dumped over a foot of rain in uh, parts of North Texas. Desperately needed it. They didn't need it a foot, uh, but um, drought ends in floods, uh, as we've talked about before. So again, other really hot spots were uh, Canada, warmest in 37 years. Russia, the hottest in 37 years. Still cool down under. Australia, they've had a cold winter and now uh, again cold late winter as we get in almost into their, into their um, spring season here. If we look at... Um, this week here, again, getting in the first few days of September, this is the week before Labor Day, hard to believe, but uh, summer is almost in the history books here, um, not in terms of weather. Weather is going to hang on, so if you like late summer weather, this is your this is your year. 1.9 degrees warmer than last year, warmest in seven years for the U.S. overall, sixth warmest in 37 years, so above average national temperatures. Uh, going to get some heat building back here in the east, um, not terrible heat, but again, hotter than it should be um, after some cool weather last week. Still pretty hot in the Pacific Northwest, uh, northern central Rocky Mountains. Looking at rainfall, again, non-existent. Uh, record, near record wet last year, not this year. 84% uh, drier than a year ago, driest in 37 years, so much below average. We'll see if it's quite this dry, but again, there looks like there's some remnant moisture there for southwest Texas where they could certainly use it. Um, we look at the uh, tropical threats here at Hurricane Center. They're watching three systems, and there's actually more beyond this uh, as we look into the next week period here. But over the next five days at least, uh, watching that system in the Southwest Caribbean going into the Gulf of Mexico. that We need to watch these systems because they can go from nothing to Cat 3 major hurricane, you know, in three, four, five days. Um, so some models are hinting at that, uh, again, for Texas here. So again, watch the tropics for sure. This animation just shows the precip pressure trends. And again, you see that big blow up. We'll see. This is just one model trend, but um, showing by Sunday, you know, could be looking at a major hurricane um, in the western Gulf of Mexico heading toward Mexico and South Texas. We'll see again, um, just again, this time of year, you got to watch things quickly because they can go from nothing to yikes. We have our major hurricane out there. So again, several waves coming off of Africa. Um, so again, as we enter the peak of the season, which is typically 10 September, just a need to stay on top of the tropics. Right now here for next week, again, the first full week of uh, September, which is the Labor Day week, um, 0 0.7 warmer than last year, warmest in six years, third warmest in 37 years. So much above average temperatures, um, still pretty hot there in the, West, Northwest, Northern Rockies, Northern Plains. Cool along the South. Uh, again, they'll take it after a really hot summer in Texas. Rainfall, again, 61% drier than last year. Dries in 37 years, so much below average on that front. Watch the Gulf Coast there of Texas, uh, Louisiana. Again, that could be tropical indications there. We'll see. Um, again, worth watching. 
just aggregate these trends here for the world two-week outlook overall for the next two weeks. So big map here is trends versus average and precip map versus average. Pretty much dry in the Americas. Um, but again, they see that uh, pretty much the heat where it's been, Pacific Northwest, Rocky Mountains. Um, some building warmth here in the Northeast. Um, still cool in the South Central and the, in the Southeast. So with that, folks, we hope you're having a great uh, last uh, few days here of uh, meteorological summer. And uh, we will be back here again this time next week. Thank mm-hmm. you.